Yes, the quiet before the storm. Yeah. Let's toast y'all. This is a toast to all my Pisces sisters and brothers. So sip, sip, clink, clink. Sip, sip the good hood stuff. Mm hmm. Mm. That's not strong enough. I think I need some more vodka in there. Y'all, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but you know what? I, I just love doing them though. So I said, let me just give y'all a video. What we eating? We're eating some uh, cucumbers the way that I like them with some sugar and some salt and pepper and some Italian and, and vinegar, Italian dressing and vinegar. I like it like that. Say, I like it like that. I did some air fried chicken wings, y'all. Look how pretty them is. Look at that. Mm hmm Yeah. And then I have a Southwest salad. You know, I love Southwest salad. So, let's dig it in. You know, I probably should have got me some more dressing now because they never give me enough dressing. So, you know, the Southwest salad come with the cheese, the, the, the spicy chicken, the roasted corn, and all this rabbit food at the bottom. So, let's get it in this plate. I hope I don't waste it, y'all. How y'all doing? How y'all? Oh, we got some. Uh-oh. Bunch of croutons in there, too. Uh, how y'all doing this weekend? Who I've been seeing some good old mukbangs today over this weekend, honey. I sit on that sofa with that laptop in my lap, and I just watch one after another. I tell y'all, I give the eyes, y'all. We have to. We, we, ha we really do have to. Um, give eyes to our people, you know, so I do it. I've done it. But you know, a lot of times y'all do live. I don't be woke. <laughs> yeah, some people do lives early. And then by the time I get up, uh, it's over. Yeah, I'm trying to make it look good. I forgot my salt and pepper though. You know, everybody needs salt and pepper on these salads. Oh, y'all, that look good. Where them croutons at? So, oh, we don't need that little bit of spark. You know what they look like? They uh, crunched up tortilla chips, yeah. Whatever it is, it's going to be good. So, here's my little... Oh, y'all, I got my peppers with um, my chicken wings. <sighs> Y'all have had a great weekend. I have. I was supposed to do my, um, what you call it, my hot sauce chicken wing thing uh, for, from Tay and Lou, but my son was not available to uh, come today, y'all. So I guess that's going to be later. See, when you're single, <laughs> you just got to wait for somebody. Until my boot ain't find me, it is what it is. I don't know. You know, because all my, my Southwest salad come from H-E-B. I got this from Randall's, and I don't know. It's different. It's spicy, but it's different. It's different than H-E-B. Do y'all have H-E-Bs by y'all? I love an H-E-B. Do you know when you walk in H-E-B, you start eating from the time you walk through that door until the time you stop shopping. There's somebody feeding you something everywhere. Yeah. Oh, y'all, this is going to be good. The only thing we missing is some tomatoes. Oh, my mother, uh, growing those, those little salad tomatoes, I had one yesterday she had washed off and brought in. Man, it was so good. She gave me another bag of collard greens, y'all, yesterday, too. Mm -hmm. It's all right. 
They're not better than HEBs. Good though. Mm. These are so good. Y'all, I love reading my comments. <laughs> I really do get some good comments. And I try to reply to each and every one of them, y'all. Oh, somebody celebrated 500. Uh, subscribers today. Congratulations again. Oh, and uh, um, Black Denim did crawfish yesterday, and he, he celebrated one million. Woo! I can't wait, y'all. I cannot. Oh, yeah, I got my new camera in. Just a lot. I was reading the manual. I'm not going to probably do it this week because this is my birthday week. So it's going to have to, I'm, I'll probably start using it the next week. Mm -hmm. I need some of these peppers. So I'm going to go live soon. I just don't know when. I'm, I'm, I'm looking it up to see how you do it. I don't know. I know when I was just trying it on my laptop, it was dark. So I got to figure this stuff out, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to say happy birthday to all my fighters, sisters, and brothers. We are some good people. I know more Eats is one. I know that Kendra Giles is one. I had um, some people to reach out to me on um, Instagram. My Instagram is that hood girl too. Um, G U R L girl. They was telling me their birthdays dates as well. So yeah, we some good people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. When birthdays come, um, even in the holidays, I don't know about y'all, but me, I get a little lonely. You know, you always want somebody on your side at some time of the, in the years, you know. But I, I, I get some time in my way. I was praying all day today. All right. Poor heart. You know, you're getting that mold. So I've been praying and praying. Sat on my patio. I, ha I really have a cute patio. And it's colorful, so... Makes you happy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then I would start thinking. I had puppy fever for the last four or five months, right? And it came again today. You know, when you when you lonely, you know, you get all these thoughts when you, you know, in your quiet moment. And I'm thinking. Am I really ready for a dog? I mean, I know dogs are a man's best friend. I know they can give us love that no human can give us. But I don't know if I'm ready for the responsibility. First of all, you got to train them not to piss and shit in your house. And I live on the third floor. My elevator's around the corner, but my stairs is right here by the door. Do I want to go up and down them stairs at 3 o'clock in the morning? No. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. So I'm thinking it through before I do it. <laughs> but I love dogs. And of course, y'all know my son brings his dog when he come and visit as well. So 
I can love on his dog because his dog go home with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. But one day I want a dog. I think maybe when I'm slowing down a little bit. And my favorite dog is a Yorkie, the miniature Yorkie. I don't want no dog over five pounds. Mm-hmm. I'll get one one day. Mm-hmm. A friend of mine just had some puppies. Some Yorkie puppies. I was like, how much? I ain't ready. <laughs> mm -mm. It was so pretty, y'all. Quiet across that floor. Mm-hmm. Little bitty things. Mm-hmm. Do y'all have dogs? Cats? Rabbits? Pet snakes? Ooh, that's scary right there. This is good. You know, when you cook your own chicken, you have your own spices, and they have everything. I didn't soak, I didn't soak these today, though. I just season them and put them in the air fryer. That's gristle. You know, I don't do the gristle. So, mm -hmm. it's good, though. It really is good. Well, y'all know who all us who use the air fryers. The chicken is good, but it's nothing like flour chicken in the, on that stove and that cast iron skillet. That crust, whoo, that crunchy stuff. Yeah. This is just a quickie. Mm-hmm. Did I give y'all a bite? I just got so many things. Running through my mind. I'm glad I got y'all as well. Like y'all right here with me. Hey, y'all. Take a bite of this chicken. Y'all look at that. That's pretty, ain't it? Take a bite. You want a pepper? You want some salad? You want some of these good cucumbers? Oh, you can take a cucumber. It's very fresh. Yum, yum. Give me some. Yeah. Oh, last night? Um, uh, my girl, Coco. She was on her hot pot. Uh, she was doing um all kind of greens and corn and salmon. I'm going to give me a hot pot one day. I just don't have nowhere to put it. Every time I think I want it, I look at my cabinets and I'm like, my air fryer, my toaster oven, my coffee pot, my can opener. I don't have nowhere to put it, y'all. But, oh, and she did some... Uh, Salmon and shrimp. It look good. It looks so, so, so good on that hot pocket. She made some good looking sauce too, y'all. And it sounded like her children liked it as well. Mm-hmm. You know, it's good to see other people cooking. It's good to give you ideas. I was talking to somebody there about leftovers. Cause she did leftover with turkey and um and uh, pasta uh, fettuccine. Mm-hmm. So I've been cooking all my life, and I know I'm a good cook, but I've never recreated leftovers too much, other than a turkey breast to make turkey salad or even chicken. I've never did anything. Different, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that because y'all I waste a lot of food with these move bombs. So I remember I used to cook every Sunday after church, three and four course meals every Sunday after church. But since I've been doing mook bombs, I haven't done them because you have to have a variety, and I I don't know how to recreate leftovers, so I'm gonna learn how to make some different sauces to put over some stuff, over some rice, potatoes. Pasta, how to make a gravy for the fried chicken. <laughs> I'm going to try to do something. Because I miss it. 
I missed the, I missed all the veggies and the, and the and the meat and the bread. Well, not really bread, but for decoration. I miss all that on Sunday, y'all. I miss going to church and getting that word in and, you know, eating all that good soul food, home cooked food, you know. So I'm gonna get back to that because I miss it, and I better not lose that because. And my boo thing find me, you know, I, I at least want him to have a Sunday dinner. That's all I'm going to get. <laughs> well, I'm saying that now, huh? You know, every man move you a different way, you know? I remember I met one man many years ago. When I first moved back to Houston from when I was married. I met this man. I wanted to cook for him, y'all. I wanted to feed that man. I ain't made none since then that I, that I want to feed. I just feed, you know, especially uh, when I'm in a long relationship. But I wanted to feed him. Mm-hmm. I even baked Sunday dessert. <laughs> yeah. Every man really do move you a different way. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like different alcohol. Different alcohol move you a different way too. You can't drink everything. You know, your system don't agree with all that that those spirits. Different spirits give you different spirits, really. When I moved to Frisco and my boss at that time, told me to try a different vodka. And I did. She told me to uh, drink it with Sprite. So, you know, we did a lot of happy hours after work. So, I tried the vodka on, with Sprite. It was good while I was out there with everybody. But I bought a bottle for the house for the bar, right? And I'm not a Sprite drinker, so but I did buy Sprite because I did buy the alcohol. It was a vodka. So, one Friday night, because <laughs> it was shit to do in Frisco, y'all. All them rich people, but it was nothing to do but cigar lounges and, and, and every bar at every restaurant. And it, it wasn't no dancing, it wasn't none of that. Boring. That's why I brought my ass back home. I was miserable out there. When my boss told me I can work from home, bye. But anyway, I'm drinking this vodka and this Sprite, and all of a sudden, I just started crying. And at that time, my best friend was calling me. And she said, Nina, what's wrong? And I'm thinking, well, I don't know. <laughs> I cannot do many dogs. They just bring me down. It's like a downer. When I drink New Amsterdam vodka, and I'm going to shake my ass. So I can't shake no more. I love, but I love to dance anyway. But when that vodka, mm -hmm, it uh, I just want to have fun and dance and sing off tune all the time. Mm hmm. Okay. Comment below uh, if y'all have experienced different spirits: vodka, rum, brandy, cavassier, um. If you notice that when you drunk them, you felt different, you know, before you found the one that likes your spirits with those spirits. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think the only brown that I like is Grand Moyer. I like Grand Moyer with a uh, sweet tea and fresh lemon with the lemon in it. I, I love that. Mm hmm. And I can drink a margarita every now and again as long as it got grandma Yo at the top. I can drink that too. It gotta be good. I'm, I'm really not a tequila drinker at all. Jeanette. You know they always say, uh oh, I dropped that. They always say gin make you sin. I don't know. It don't agree with my body. So I don't drink that either. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah. What do y'all drink? What's y'all number one drink? And then tell me a drink y'all try alcohol y'all tried that it was like, oh no. Like Kendra Giles say, she say she can't drink vodka. She say she'll be fighting everybody. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna leave y'all with that. And I'm gonna be looking for your comments. Name your favorite spirit drink. And then name an alcohol that you tried that made you be like crazy or whether it's good or bad. Comment below. I'm ready to see them. I love y'all. I'll see y'all again soon.